right, y'all. Yeah, I'm back. Right quick. I'm gonna try to breathe. I'm gonna try to breathe through this, but I'm probably not. But it's Love Hip Hop New York season eight, episode eleven. Call I guess grabbing your hand or some shit like that. I don't know. I, my hand right was all fuck crazy shit now. <clears throat> Before I get started, let me say this. Y'all know with certain shows, I tend to sit here and say, I ain't talking about this motherfucker, this motherfucker, this motherfucker. I've already said thus far, I ain't talking about Remy shit unless we get some different shit in this in vitro. I told y'all I ain't talking about most situation. And if, if y'all didn't hear me the last time, I ain't talking about Jonathan's situation. Because it looked like Jonathan gonna have some shit coming up next episode. I ain't finna talk about it. Because he done woke me the fuck out, especially this fucking episode. Fuck Jonathan. I ain't talking about him. If y'all want to hear about him, there's other people that's talking about them. I ain't talking about him. Get it? Got it? Good. So the question of the day, do you feel sorry for Anai East? No, the fuck I don't. No, the fuck I don't. Again, don't know what you got till it's gone. If you don't know what that reference is, you probably should have watched my Miami video. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this shit. <clears throat> Pick up where we left off. We got uh, Rich Tails Ruben. He's a friend. He's friends with Navarro. He's there help helping. And Rich says he is surprised that, she that he is there to support her, given the fact that they are separated and about to divorce. Now, Ruben's trying to figure out how the fuck do you know that now? I'm going to stop right now. This is not, this is her event. This should be one of those where nothing like that needed to be discussed. This should have been strictly business. When he came, hey, yeah, I'm Rich. I'm Navarro's friend. I'm here to, you know, help <clears throat> support him with this. Oh, oh, you're her husband. Okay, great that you're here to support her. You know what? I'll let you two talk. I'm going to go ahead and make sure everybody else is okay. You see how cool that is? I'm just saying. And I ain't even in the motherfucking music business. But again, I've been around political fucking people. So I know how to fucking work the scene. But come, come on now, dude. Come on now. So Ruben asked him how you know that. This, that, and the third. And, <clears throat> you know, um, he asked her if she's having an affair. And Ruben starts to question his wife. Rich jumps in it. <laughs> Here's the thing, I fucked Ruben because Ruben told him I'm a, I'm talking to her right now. When I'm done talking to her, then I will talk to you. I'm like, you know what? I motherfucking five. Like I felt his ass right there. Just like, cause real talk, Rich don't owe him shit. That's why he talking to his wife. Ruben, the old school fool, and Ruben looked like he put the flu flops on him, motherfucker. You know what flu flops is? Well, guess what? I'm telling my age, I'm 31, bitch. But anyway. So, <clears throat> Rich is like, oh, so I'm on your time? And he says, yeah, Rich get to talk and slip. When I say Ruben literally, like, was about to rush that ass, security came in. I said security came in and got him. Rich punk ass gonna sit here and grab the fold-up chair and fold that shit up like, I know damn well you ain't finna sit here and throw no motherfucking chair. You got hands, bruh. Throw them hands. But he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. <sighs> Whatever. So, then you have... <clears throat> Jonathan to come over there and Jonathan is too fucking extra and the whole him yelling and all this other shit like I wasn't here for it. I was and it's just like <clears throat> this is Jonathan trying to make a moment about him. I'm tired of John this is why I'm I, I I can't do Jonathan. I can't he was bad on K Michelle's my life because he was very toned down. I can't I can't I can't I can't but anyway <clears throat> he pretty much is telling her that she needs to fix it and then goes so far as to start blasting Rich talking about some, you know, he was over there getting the girl's number, whatnot. Now Rich says, I didn't give I got I didn't give her my number. I'm like Okay, Rich, I, I was trying to sit here and ride with you last week, trying to whatever. And they start going back, you know, Jonathan, like I put this on my grand on my dad. I think he said Daddy Grave, he did this, that, and the third. <clears throat> She go outside to try to talk to Ruben. Ruben pretty much told us like it's over. I don't want. I really don't want else to do with you. We gotta make sure the kids straight. That's it. That's it. We're done. Now, <clears throat> I'll applaud Jonathan for being a friend. I'll applaud him. But what I will say is, <clears throat> I'm not. An, I'm not like Jonathan. My thing is this. I got friend. I have friends. I have associates, acquaintances, and I got family. And I have relatives, relatives, family, two different separate motherfucking things. But for those who I fuck with, you ask me for my advice or you want me to give you some insight, I will give it to you. If it seems like you are not listening to what the fuck I have to say, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. It's hard for me to sit here and, you know, feel sorry when you fall the fuck on your face. When I've already told you, especially if it's some shit that I've seen, <clears throat> trying to protect you from something. Because I'm only going to tell you at max three times. And even then, I'm like my father. I don't want to repeat myself more than once. So I applaud him for sitting there and comforting her. I probably would have comforted her, but it wouldn't have been no tears or nothing. Just like, well, I tried to. 
I know I'm, I'm an asshole. Anybody that know me know that, but I mean, I wouldn't have said it too, but in my head, I would have been like, well, I tried to told you. But I'm also the motherfucker that say, when shit come crumbling down, don't bring your ass crying to me, because I already told you. That's just me. And to wait. <clears throat> Bianca's with Jaquay, she invites Cheyenne, he meets Cheyenne. It is what it is. We got Safari, Jaquay, and Snoop. And Carl. Carl invites him to his little event. The only thing I really got to talk about outside of that is Snoop shaved the fuck out of Safari. You know, talk. What, what did she say? Talking about a part of your headline came up when he took that motherfucking baseball helmet about I didn't need about them fucking die. So then we got Rich, uh, Peter, and Navarro. First and foremost, we need, we need Peter back. <laughs> we need Peter back. We need the fucking sister wives back. We need them back. They say have a conversation. Rich says, you know what? And I East is the female Peter Guns. It is what the fuck it is. And Rich claimed that, you know, if he knew that the situation was what it was, he wouldn't fuck with it. I don't really give a fuck. We're going to move the fuck on. Safari meets with Dream. She, first of all, she ain't riding the beat. Let me just say that. <clears throat> but, you know, he tells her, like, she's trying to sit here and, hold on. She's trying to sit here and say, like, okay, well, something you're not telling me to say in the third. You ain't supposed to be working with the other. He's like, I can do what I want. And then she was like, but then we all agreed this. He was like, no, you said whatever the hell it is you said. And then you walked the fuck away. We didn't agree to shit. And I would even tell her, last that I checked, you said this shit was over. So I don't even know why the fuck we sit, we talking. Like, we together and shit. She gets mad, tell him <clears throat> to leave and whatnot. And he's just pretty much looking at her just like, again, yeah, you don't tell him what the fuck to do now. It's a real shit. If this truly was a session that she paid for, yeah, it probably would have been good for, you know, him to leave. But at the same exact time, you ain't finna play me. So sorry, I fucking feel you. I feel you, brother. And then she even called him a clown. And this is one of those things where it's like, <clears throat> you mildly relevant. I'm pretty sure if Safari really wanted to, <clears throat> he could snuff your career, especially in New York scene. I'm just saying. So now we got Cheyenne Jaquay doing indoor skydiving. She says she has a 10-year-old son. She's very vulnerable. She's been hurt before in the past. She's a little bit guarded. She tells him that she won't take shit slow. We got Navarro Rubin, and he comes in eventually. Rubin questions him on just who the fuck is a Richie guy. I'm paying you to sit here and uh, manage her career, yet you got, you know, mothers coming in fucking my wife. And, I mean, <clears throat> Navarro probably should have rehearsed a little bit more because he knew it was going to happen. But it, it's one of those ways just like, I'm managing her career, not her love life. As insensitive as that is, God honest truth. But I do feel that Navarro probably should have stepped in and, like, literally talked to her about it. But at the same exact time, as a, as somebody on the payroll it's kind of iffy if you do or don't owe Rube anything but <clears throat> she comes in Rube pretty much tells just like the like this shit is done like I'm not fucking with her no more so in that sense I'm no I'm not paying you anymore for these fucking services it is what the fuck it is where are we going with this oh he pretty much tells her that uh, he's filing for a divorce and she needs to get her shit get the fuck out we got Safari and Juju it's cute what they doing. He sees Sophia, tells Juju they used to fuck around. She's that DJ. He goes over to talk to her, and she says, you know, she want to get back with uh, Jacque. He says that, well, Carl has an event. If you want to talk to him, I'll bring you along. Y'all should be good. Safari, you mess his fuck for that. It is what the fuck it is. And I eat some Rich. Long story short, <clears throat> Rich really not accepting much responsibility, but he even, he said that when I read her, just like, hey, we was having fun. It is what the fuck it is. But he does kind of have a point. She misled him by saying they were getting divorced. They weren't getting a fucking divorce. So kind of what has crashed on her head is all of what the fuck she has caused. But the reality is this. Even though Rich needs to accept blame for some of the shit that he did. The reality is she was married. He wasn't. She did not tell him the full fucking truth. And what happened is. Here's the thing. You cause things to happen. The effects are, you know, is what it is. The only effect Rich is about to get is Rich about to get that ass work and probably put, you know, be uh, fucking swimming with the fishes and shit, fucking around with Ruben. We had Carl's event, Sapphire brings Sophia, Jacoy comes in with Cayenne, and it's to be continued. That's all the fuck I got. There was other shit that happened. I don't fucking feel like talking about it. And I'm about to sit here, edit these videos, throw them up, and take my ass to bed. That's all I got. Answer the question in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see all of you beautiful people for the next video, which should be Little Women Atlanta. And also, don't forget, if you have any questions that you, or any <clears throat> topics, pictures, receipts, whatever that you want me to talk about on Tab Boys and Training Topics with T, 
I'm more than likely going to try to shoot the video like I did this past week on Saturday because it literally takes 24 hours to add everything in there to actually upload those in a separate file. So if you want me to talk about some, send it to me. That's all I got. Again, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys on the next video. Peace.